Let's talk about why leaders fail to deliver the most value. And I'd like to know your answer to the question in the comments below. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to slowly grow your problem solving mindset and skills with problem solving tips. Now let's get down to business. I've broken this question of why leaders fail to deliver the most value into three separate factors and each factor is broken into three separate parts and today we will focus on the final part or factor number three its root causes and two tips to fix these root causes and so factor number three is the fact that many leaders struggle to see the big picture very clearly and if you can see clearly what you have to achieve then you will always be uh, you know trying your best to push forward right but if you cannot see what the the target looks like then you'll be guessing on what you're pushing towards and also struggle to tell your employees what targets they have to meet right and to understand this better Let's dive into the first root cause, which is the fact that many managers struggle to ask good questions to their leaders. But think about it. If you're shooting at a clear target, you're more likely to hit the target, as I've said. But if that target is blurry, then you'll probably miss most of the shots that you take, right? But to fix this root cause, the first tip that I'll share with you today is that managers who make a clear mental picture or image of what value they need to create are far more likely to cross the finish line compared to those who have a vaguely defined goal that they never look at, right? Now, let's look at the second root cause, which is the fact that some leaders may not be honest with themselves about where they struggle and try to find uh, ways to hide these weaknesses instead of looking at them as opportunities where others can uh, excel within their team. And my second tip to fix this root cause is that honest managers who are aware of their weaknesses acknowledge that and they will waste uh, time trying to figure out something that they personally struggle with, right? And that's where they have to start to delegate. And they achieve success, not only by delegating their weaknesses, but spend more time on their strengths and the things that they are very good at, so that they are individually exceeding their potential and also helping others to do the same, right? And these are some of the pieces that make up the third factor. Now, from a 30,000 feet level, this is what the big picture looks like. But before we wrap up, I have a question for you. What would you do to fix the root causes we just talked about? Think about it and leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this particular exercise, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel to slowly grow your problem-solving mindset and skills. I'll see you in the next exercise.